We just got to keep on going. It's not over here. It's not over yet. We're going to need your energy. Keep bringing the energy to this ballpark and let's keep on riding this. I'm going to keep it right there. 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 Julio Rodriguez taking away Jen Mueller's microphone. He is feeling it. The city of Seattle is feeling it. And I know that Dave Sims is feeling it. The great play-by-play -play TV announcer for the Seattle Mariners joining me now in the Jackie Robinson cap. We are ready to go, Mr. Sims. Let <laughs> us talk about Alana, the Seattle doing? Mariners team. I'm great. I'm great. It's great to see you. First place in the AL West, the hottest team in baseball for the last two months, Dave. How have they done it? Tell you what, the pitching has always been a constant with this team. The big revelation was guys that we thought could hit have started hitting like crazy since early July. It has been an absolute blast. Cal Raleigh hitting home runs. Teoscar Hernandez has gotten hot. Julio has picked it up. He's getting the ball in the air, hitting it out of the yard, getting contributions from the bottom of the order as well. Dom Canzone, Josh Rojas, who were picked up in the uh, trade, with Phoenix, uh, with Arizona, uh, for uh, Paul Seawald. They are delivering. It's been a blast. It's a heck of a ride. Julio Rodriguez, we knew that he was such a superstar. The Seattle Mariners knew that he was a superstar. But he's been even hotter than hot as of late. What is he doing right at the plate? You know, I asked him about that uh, about a, uh, on the road trip that we just finished there. The club went 8-2. and two, And uh, the hitting coach, Jared DeHart, said that he's really synced up his lower half to the upper part of his body. Julio said, I'm just going back to being me. And his swing selections have been much, much better. And when he does hit the ball to the right side, he's getting jammed a lot. Now when he's hitting it, I mean, even his outs are loud. So everything he's hitting with, with great authority. All right, Cal Raleigh was on the program not too long ago. Not a man of many words, kind of a quiet cat. But I tell you what, the dumper is unbelievable at the plate. He is very quietly, Dave, becoming one of the best power-hitting catchers in the league. What makes him so good? I tell you what, he kills it from the left side. Um, he hit his sixth home run from the right side a couple of days ago. But anything down and in, uh, this is yeah, this is the right-handed home run he hit the other day. Got a pitch up and leaned all over it. But from the left side, down and in, that's his baby right there. Like so many left-handers. And that was the same pitch. He had a changeup down and in uh, against Domingo Acevedo to put the Mariners in the playoffs last year to clinch that. Uh, he's just about outstanding. 25 home runs, leads all the catchers in Major League Baseball, and he is super reliable. I tell you what, the batting average isn't huge, but when the home runs do come, they're generally in very good spots. Yeah, and they're usually not solo shots either, which helps yeah. a lot. All right, Teoscar Hernandez. I don't know. This man is out of his mind the last two weeks. What has he found? You know, he's, first of all, he's one of the great dudes I've ever met in, in baseball. All right, and he's up there in, like, Nelly Cruz territory. But there you go. Middle in, say goodnight. He, his, his, his strikeout rate has gone down a little bit. He stopped chasing that slider in the outside corner. That's Julio. He jumped on a pitch yesterday. That was ridiculous. But Teo has been so much fun. So you're talking about him in the four, five, six spot. That lengthens the lineup. And it's, you know, of recent uh, days, it has been a power pack lineup. I mean, the home runs have been flying. I hit seven home runs on Saturday. hit a few more on Sunday. It's, it's, been, it's been, you know, it's so much fun. And it's legal. <laughs> I love to hear that. Now, you mentioned at the beginning of the interview, Dave, the pitching, and it has been solid. But when I think about Luis Castillo, I think automatic W. They've won the last six starts that he's been on the hill. How big has he been for this rotation? It seems obvious, but I don't know that the Mariners would be where they are without him. No, I agree. Lead dog, out there, no question about it. And early on, he didn't get a ton of run support. He probably should have four or five more wins. He's a guy, I tell you what, as a right-hand hitter, I would hate to have to face this guy. He runs that two-seamer in on your hands. And then the changeup, that pitch right uh, there for left-handers. And, and he's, he's dotting corners. He's dotting the top rail. I mean, he has just been on such a great roll. And I love it. When he comes off the mound, he does that Castillo flex like this. So I got everybody <laughs> in Seattle doing it, man. It's very cool. It's very cool. <laughs> Yeah, the fans are into it. But why have one ace when you can have two and three? Logan Gilbert, George Kirby, what? I mean, this team is 
legitimately, it's like 1A, 1B with these two other guys. Yeah. What can you tell me about them? Yeah, wh when I talk to other, when managers come in or we go there and they say, man, I don't want to face you guys in the playoffs because you get those three guys at the top. <laughs> and Pete Wooden with the pitching coach, uh, he and his crew, what they teach is you know, dominate the zone. Everybody says it. But these guys come in, they're pumping fastballs, they're pumping quality strikes in the first pitch to get ahead, and then they finish you off. And I th the other thing that's in uh, they have in common, you know, uh, Luis has the great fastball. Logan's got four or five pitches. If he has two or three working that day, yeah, good luck. And then uh, George Kirby doesn't walk anybody. He lives on the edges. Another guy with that fastball rising up. Bryce Miller, the same thing. And uh, Andrew Wu, the same thing. And this is a, a pitching staff that lost two quality left-handers in Marco Gonzalez and Robbie Ray to injury. So the, uh, these guys, and then when you talk about the bullpen, the bullpen has been out of sight. So it, that's that's the reason why they're on such a roll right now, especially with the hitting coming to the fore. Yeah, don't uh, let me forget to talk about that bullpen. That's a great segue because, my goodness, they have a 2.82 ERA in August. It's tremendous. And you need a good bullpen, Dave, the further you want to get into the postseason. How critical have they been? Uh, they've been unbelievable. And, you know, Seawald was carrying most of the load as a closer. Now it's sort of going back between Matt Brash and Andres Munoz. But the thing that's interesting about this is that with Seawald being dealt to Arizona, everybody has moved up in a different slot. And, and there's been a high leverage situation. Justin Topa has come through in a big way, even for one or two outs. I think he went like an inning and change a couple of days ago. Uh, let's see. Uh, Isaiah Campbell's been moved up slot-wise. Uh, Gabe Spire, left-hander, has been nails pretty much the entire season. I mean, you go right through the roster. The contributions have been outstanding. So when you put all that together, you know, hence they're in first place and then helped by the fact that, you know, and everybody goes through ups and downs, and Texas is going through a heck of a down right now. And Houston hasn't been as dominant as they've been the last few years. So with the Mariners putting it together, this is going to be a furious finish coming down uh, the stretch here in September. And there's, I know you know this, seven, was it the last ten games, seven are against the Rangers. Three there, come home for three with the Astros, and four at home against the Rangers. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be exciting. We can't wait to hear the call. Dave Sims, play-by-play -play for the Seattle Mariners. We appreciate you as always. Let's get it. Back at you, Alana. Thanks so much. Good to see you, and uh, <laughs> look forward to seeing you guys when I get back.